What's up guys, DDBK videos, I make military content, put it on the internet for you to enjoy. If you want, my social media links are in the description down below, my Instagram, my second channel where I do live streams, almost at 1K, what's up, Patreon, Twitter, bunch of stuff. I would highly suggest just clicking that see description button and subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. Today we're gonna be talking about a highly requested topic, joining the military while old. I'm gonna give my opinion on it, my, so my sights and views that I've seen. I've been in the Navy for four years. I joined straight out of high school when I was 18. I'm currently 22. I can give you an idea of what it's like to join the military when you're older from an outward perspective. Obviously, I didn't join when I was 30, so I didn't get to experience it personally, but let me tell you what the other guys are thinking. So, you're already old, there's probably a bunch of factors you want to consider. Um, why are you joining? Are you doing it because it's a family thing, you felt you always wanted to serve and it's something you want to cross off your bucket list? Is it a money thing? Are you like, hey, I'm like down on my luck, I have no other options, let me join the military. Do you have a family? Are you trying to support the family? Can you see your wife cheating if you're away for a year? Uh, that, one's, that one's pretty important. So, once you finally find out why you're joining, you go ahead and go through the enlistment process like anyone else, talk to your recruiter, do an ASVAP, go to boot camp. When you go to boot camp, you're gonna quickly realize that everyone's pretty much 18. Um, it was 18 to 20, majority in my boot camp. Like I would say 90% of us were about 18 or 19. Um, and then there's few guys, like mid 20s, and then like maybe one or two out of every 100 were above 30. We had some lady who was, I think she was like a an elementary school teacher before this. And then some dude, I, I, I honestly don't remember what he does. But it, it was made evident that they were a lot older than us uh, like week one. And then everyone kind of holds that perspective of you for the rest of boot camp. This can be a good or bad thing. RDCs are gonna look to you to lead because you have more life experience. Uh, younger guys are gonna come to you for an open ear um, just because of that life experience. And you're just gonna be viewed as someone who's more mature and can handle more things. On the flip side, if that gets to your head, everyone is quick to remind you that you are on the same level as them. Military doesn't see age, they see rank. So if you try to talk down to someone in a condescending manner, you're not gonna get the respect that you think you're about to get from the other people. You're probably gonna get excluded. At my last base, uh, I picked up rank pretty quick and there was an older gentleman in his 30s that did not and he had a problem with authority because I was like 10 years younger than him. But at the end of the day, it didn't matter because rank carries more than age. So you gotta say to yourself, am I willing as a 30 year old to have a 19 year old boss, a 20 year old boss? You know, or a, or a, can you willingly be like a 37 year old man and have an 18 year old who somehow picked up really quick tell you, go take out the trash. Now that sounds like a joke, but like process that for a second. I've had tons of older dudes who are humble and they just, they, they understand like military is a rank thing and it's a progression thing and they humbly do their duties as would anyone else in their rank. You know, if you're an E3, you're gonna be asked to do E3 things along with the other E3s who are probably like 18. You know, when, when we're field daying or fob walk, you know, they're gonna be like, hey, everyone go outside and pick up trash for an hour. Um, you're just gonna be surrounded by other 18 year olds while the dudes who are your age are probably inside, you know, drinking coffee, joking, having fun with each other, doing management things and here you are picking up trash. I don't mean that in a derogatory sense, but everyone has to start out somewhere. So are you ready to commit four years, starting off on the lower end of things, and then hopefully picking up towards the end of your four years, maybe re-enlisting? Another thing you gotta think of, to retire from the military, you need 20 years of active service. If you start at 30, that means you're not gonna retire until 50 if not later. Whereas the 18 year olds are gonna retire at 38. So if you're thinking this is like a career career thing, can you see yourself being enlisted for that long or would it be better for you to just finish a college degree if you already have a college degree and apply to be an officer? Because officers are normally older already. Like yeah, you have some young officers who are ensigns and everything, but normally officers are floating around 30 or older. I have some officers that are like 50 something right now um, one's a chaplain, the other one's a like medical admin guy. And they're both great, they're both great guys. Um, they both started off as enlisted. Uh, the, in, the admin guy started off as corpsman like myself, went up to senior chief, then went over. The chaplain started off as like an infantryman in the army, I'm pretty sure, and then became a chaplain. I think he was driving around people, I think he was driving around the chaplain on base and then realized how good that life is and then made the switch. <laughs> But that might be a better option for you if you're older is to just go officer. I think it comes down to your willingness to humble yourself and accept responsibilities that normally someone your age wouldn't have to accept and you would be given different responsibilities 
Um, one's less physically demanding and more mentally demanding. I think it's important to always be one of the guys, never put yourself too above everyone. You know, uh, one of my buddies, he was like m easily my best friend uh, in Camp Lejeune. Uh, you know, we'd always go outside, play basketball, you know, we'd get on the floor, uh, grappling used to be a thing, uh, we were all wrestlers, people with BJJ backgrounds, MMA backgrounds, so we used to go outside the barracks in the winter, um, it was in North Carolina, Lejeune, and we would all just choke each other out. He didn't exclude himself from that, he was out there choking us out. And it, you know, that's just an example, but it's good to show, you know, you're one of the boys, one of the girls, uh, be part of the team and never separate yourself too much because you feel like you're their mother. I hope this gave you somewhat of an insight on how the younger people are seeing you. I hope you take it with a grain of salt. Of course, there's other YouTubers on this, you know, platform who did join later in life and can give you more experienced details about that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.